so today we are going to talk about variable specific heats okay so first let's see uh, if specific heats are constant and given so for isentropic process uh, these are the common formulas which i think everyone knows for normal process this is this equation gives the entropy change from initial to final position okay cv is specific heat at constant volume r is gas constant of air yeah. so now let's move on to the main topic variable specific heat so uh, specific heats are temperature of a uh, function of temperature for idle gas so the equations will be written as this change in entropy specific at constant volume as a function of temperature initial to final going from initial to final dt over t plus gas constant logarithmic specific specific volume ratio final to initial and similarly the other equation also which is in pressure term so if you can see from here if cv and cp or cp are constant these equations would be would, would look similar to this but in this case they are not constant so to calculate the entropy in variable specific heat you must know the function value okay so you can see the first term here this term this term cpt dt over t integrated initial to final this term here are tabulated in the table so that uh, uh, it can be used directly from that to calculate the entropy change so let's see this s not term is already given in the table at different temperatures so it is integrated over 0 to final temperature 0 is taken as reference temperature 0 absolute temperature 0 is absolute temperature so it would give entropy at t temperature uh, entropy not entropy sorry not entropy would give the value of this integral at temperature t because it is absolute temperature so it would be always be zero and it would give the this value at t so the above formula can be written like this change in entropy is equal to s not 2 minus s not 1 minus r and then p2 by p1 so s not 1 and s not 2 can be directly seen from the table at given temperatures this this whole second term would not change because they are not function of temperature see this s2 naught and s1 naught they represent the change in entropy due to the temperature difference when specific when specific heats are not constant so they can be easily seen from the table and can be calculated now let's see yeah, let's see example. Let's do example. See, uh, given compressor, a compressor initial initial pressure 100 kPa, temperature 290 Kelvin, uh, final pressure 600 kPa, temperature 330 Kelvin. Entropy change. We have to find the entropy change. So the equation we know is 2 minus 1 is this and this r ln p2 over p1 so from given temperature t1 and t2 these value can be seen on the table and this can be dropped in the equation to calculate the entropy change and yes one thing I see this value this value is tabulated for constant uh, for specific heat at constant pressure as a temp as a function of temperature only not for not for this 
this this for this one it is evaluated not for this one it is not required it is unnecessary to do it okay 